I've known Joe Morelli all my life. All through grade school, he was the problem child of the neighborhood. And from ninth grade on, he was the heartthrob of half the women in the greater Trenton area. He enlisted in the Navy out of high school, eventually got a college degree, and decided he wanted to be a cop. He's now working plainclothes in crimes against persons, and he's good at his job. He's good at other things, too, which is why I'm wearing pretty undies. He's six foot tall with a lean, muscular build, lots of wavy black hair, and classic Italian movie star features. He has a big orange dog named Bob and a small house he inherited from his Aunt Rose. A lot of people think Morelli and I should get married. Morelli doesn't seem to be one of them. That's okay with me. I tried being married, and it was a disaster. The food made its way around the table, and the bottle of wine followed. Stephanie caught a mooner today, Grandma said to Morelli. Morelli draped his arm across the back of my chair and smiled at me. A mooner? Camden Crick, I said. Professional mooner. I know about Camden, Morelli said. He's famous. He's my mother's favorite mooner. Mine too, Grandma said. He has the best butt, and he's a good wiggler. My father was working his way through the mound of food on his plate, oblivious to the conversation. There's something different about the pot roast, he said. It's chuck roast, my mother said. They didn't have any rump roast. How could they not have rump roast, my father said. Benny knows we have rump roast every Friday. Benny sold his butcher shop six months ago, my mother said. The new owner made it into a tattoo parlor. I get my meat at the supermarket now. My father shook his head. This country's gone to heck in a handbasket. I remember when Stephanie almost married a butcher, Grandma said. I didn't almost marry him, I said. I didn't even nearly marry him. Well, he was sweet on you, and we got some good pork roasts out of it.